past that we're talking about has been a joint effort of the task force that we've met over the last year. And um, so I kind of wanted to bring this all together and hopefully it'll start the dialogue on where we want to go. So that being said, um, thank you, uh, Senators Montford and Representative Brandon and Show for organizing a local meeting to discuss ending the pollution of our rivers and streams by the City of Valdosta's wastewater treatment facilities. As you know, the Middle and Lower Swanee River and Lithicus Chief River Task Force comprised of county commissioners from the North Central Florida Regional Planning Council region was established over a year ago in an effort to work with the City of Valdosta to resolve their wastewater system failures, which has dumped millions of gallons of untreated sewage into the Alapaha and Withlacoochee rivers over the past several years. In the past, most of the system failures have been caused by stormwater infiltration into their system, causing overflows at the treatment facility into the Withlacoochee River. The City of Valdosta applied for and recently received a permit from the Georgia Environmental Protection Division to construct an additional 8 million gallon retention basin at the treatment facility, as well as making ongoing repairs to their wastewater infrastructure to reduce stormwater infiltration. These efforts will significantly reduce the chances of overflows at the treatment facility and major storm events. However, we will not be safe from sewage spills until the city of Valdosta has completely overhauled their wastewater infrastructure. All of this work sounds great until you consider the events of the week of December 3rd through the 9th, 2019. A major sewage spill was caused by the negligence of a third party contractor working for the city of Valdosta. And the lack of supervision and oversight by the city of Valdosta resulted in an estimated 7.5 million gallons of raw sewage being dumped into Sugar Creek, which flows into the Wifflecoochee River. As a result of this spill, Hamilton County and Madison County issued local states of emergency, and the Florida Department of Environmental Protection and Florida Department of Health issued health advisories warning the public to avoid contact with the rivers. The Hamilton County and Madison County Board of County Commissioners each allocated additional funding for water well testing for their citizens along the Wifflecoochee River. And I will, I will say that the numbers I have here is only from Madison County, and, and uh, Mr. Moffs, I apologize for having not included Hamilton County's results, but the results as of today for Madison County, Madison County has uh, tested 182 wells, I think you have three now, um, and, and have sampled in Madison County, resulting in 37 wells showing unsafe levels of coliform and two wells with unsafe levels of E. coli. Some of our citizens have reported becoming ill from well contamination and all have had to endure the expense of having their wells treated to eliminate the bacteria. As stated in, pre in a previous venue before the legislature, the constant failure of the city of Valdosta to properly operate their wastewater treatment facilities is endangering the health and safety of the citizens of our 12 county North Florida region, from the state Florida line to the mouth of the Swanee River and the Gulf of Mexico. Not to mention the negative impact, economic impact, on our ecotourism. I want to emphasize that this is our Appalachian Cola Bay, this is our red tide, this is our Lake of the for those of you who know the issues going around in the state. Please help us provide a solution and resolution of this situation to our citizens. The impact of these sewage spills is not a local issue or a county issue or even a regional <coughs> issue. This is a state and federal issue. Um, so I'll go on and some of the ask that we will be talking about and would like to discuss today with everyone represented here for our legislative bodies State oversight from Florida Department of Environmental Protection. Funding for Florida Department of Environmental Protection oversight. Possible litigation against third party contract. Possible litigation against the state of Georgia and or the city of Valdosta. Funding for the counties for tourism marketing recovery. 
reimbursement to counties for local state emergency expenses related to weight to water testing and potable drinking water provided to affected citizens. For our United States Environmental Protection Agency, we're asking for federal oversight concerning enforcement of the consent order between the Georgia Environmental Protection Division and the city of Valdosta. And if Georgia Environmental Protection Division were present today, and we will be talking about this later tonight in the city of Valdosta, um, issuing a moratorium of any new construction in the city of Valdosta that contributes to their sewage treatment facilities until they have provided evidence that their system is operating in accordance with federal and state standards <coughs> and with proper supervision and oversight of their system and any other third party contractors. Levy appropriate fines against the city of Valdosta for the record setting for all sewage bill during the week of December 3rd through 9th, 2019 as a result of their lack of oversight and supervision of the third party contract. And um, that is uh, the letter we are submitting today in our ask. And um, at that this point, Senator, I just recommend that we proceed. Uh, thank you, Rick. Uh, let me make a point. Uh, I know a lot of you here 